everyone. So I'm really, really sorry. I haven't done any tutorials in a long time. I have been shabby chicing pieces, but to be honest, I didn't really want to be showing you the same old thing when there's so many of my videos or other people's on YouTube anyway. So uh, today I'm actually going to show you how to do a chalk paint of your own. And I've been practicing this actually for a few months, but I didn't want to tell you about it until I knew it was perfect and to be honest I think I've cracked it. It gives the closest finish to any Sloan chalk paint in my opinion and basically it's so so simple you just need some really cheap emulsion whatever emulsion in whatever colour you want. Test pots are brilliant for this because I've got a few different colours and all you need is just some calcium carbonate and a little bit goes a long way especially with your paint as well. I've really only been making it in really tiny batches and probably test pot size anyway and that will complete one project. It depends how you want your look. I've been doing heavily distressed pieces and it's worked perfect for my things, but it's a very, very, very cheap alternative, especially if you're doing this for a living. I really would not go and buy any Sloan anymore, although the dark wax has lasted me probably two and a half years, up to three years, and it's still fine. And I've just been using my regular Caretaker's Wood Balm Furniture Wax. So I'm just gonna really quickly show you how I've been mixing it up, and how it paints and how the finish looks. So yes, I'm very, 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 I'm just over the moon. And I'll leave the link to this below so you don't have to traipse anywhere. I've not been able to find this in any high street because I wanted it there and then, but I just had to order it on Amazon and get it delivered. So concentrate. So you're gonna need a color and I'm just using a really cheap matte emulsion paint from b and I think, or Screwfix. You'll need obviously your calcium carbonate, a pot to mix your paint in, and a crappy old spoon. Bear in mind, this is really strong paint by the time you've put your calcium carbonate in it and you paint, you'll struggle to take it off if you try and wash it later if you've let it dry. So I haven't been really particular measuring things out, I've just been doing a spoonful of that and two or three spoonfuls of the paint just to get the consistency that I want. So to mix it easier, we're gonna put some paint in first. So I'm gonna probably put about two big tablespoons in there. And I'm just going to pour this straight onto the spoon because I don't want to dip the wet spoon into the powder. Probably put about that much in, way there. So just give that a really good mix. I'm just going to add a smidge more because I've got a big table to paint. So hopefully you can see that. So let's go and paint it on our piece of furniture. By the way, I do normally sand every piece of furniture before I paint them. But for this, I'm just not going to bother because I'm going to heavily distress it anyway. So I've just given this one one coat. Hopefully you can see the texture very closely. And then I've given this two coats and I'm going to heavily distress it. So I don't know if you can see me all right because it's very bright out here and I'm struggling to see the viewfinder but I've just been sanding it down with really fine finishing paper and it's smooth as a baby's bum and I love, just love how it sands off and I know that when I come to wax it, it really does, um, it just seals it so much better than any other sort of just emulsion paint that I've been using with the primer underneath. I don't know if you can see that all right, but it's so smooth and fine. So I'm just trying to sand any brush strokes away. So now I've distressed it to where I want it to be, I'm going to furniture wax it with Caretaker Wood Balm, which is actually from Tesco's for about two pound odd and a little bit goes a long way and just apply it with a lint-free cloth and it will soak straight into the chalk paint and just do it in circular motions. And you'll notice that the, the area that you've actually covered it will change colour to where it's not covered. And just go all over and just give it a thin coat and just rub in circular motions. I absolutely love this stuff, it's brilliant. If you just want to go out and buy a little bit at a time, it's not too expensive. 
and any Sloan furniture wax, I just can't get it everywhere. So I best get going because it's starting to rain and if you like this tutorial don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you in my next one. And you can always check out my blog which is vickysvintage.wordpress.com or my food channel which is Taste Sweet Vicky. Thanks for watching, bye!